Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. When was the last time you felt like you should be humbled because of something or someone? When I came to Kansas for the first time six years ago, I was driving on highway. While I was driving, I could see the sky and it was wide open. That's what I could see. I was reminded at the moment that, yes, Kansas has great plains. The wide open sky made me saying, wow. There was a flaming sunset there and I was amazed. That was the moment I became humbled with the natural scene right before me. Have you been the Grand Canyon? I've never been there, but heard that it's a place making you wow and being humbled before the great nature scene. How about natural disasters in front of natural disasters like earthquake, flood, or tornado? We become humbled. Those remind us of how big and great our God is. There is nothing bigger than God in the world. As we begin this new day and week, let us be humbled before God and send our best respect to Him. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Depending on how you understand God, you may have different images of God. What images of God do you have in mind? God is the love. God is the hope. God is a caring God. He cares for you. But some verses in the book of Hebrews describe God as a consuming fire. It sounds contrast to some other images of God, like loving God and caring God. How can we understand and accept the images of God, like a consuming fire or a blazing fire? Sometimes it sounds like violent or destroying. I think it's significant to make a proper balance when it comes to uh, the images of God. God is loving and caring God. Therefore, God is always waiting for us and shows us patience. But it doesn't mean we can be rude to Him. We should give our honor and praise before Him. 1 Corinthians says, Love is not arrogant. Love is not rude. Are you giving your best to God in your daily living? Are you giving your best time, best self to God? Let us do so because God is doing it for us. God is giving us His best. Love is not arrogant. Love is not rude. Let us also give our best to God as He does it to us as well. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. 
We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. We are humbled before God, not simply because God is a scary, violent, or destroying God. We are humbled before Him because love is neither arrogant nor rude. I am reminded of my parents and teachers. They are loving people. They cared for me. They really embraced me, including my faults and weaknesses. But it didn't mean I could be rude or arrogant to them. I showed my respect to them, and I did that not because I was afraid of them, but because I loved them. Even today, I try my best to show my respect and honor to them out of my love for them. I think this is also true when it comes to our heart and attitude toward God. God is loving and caring God. God embraces us, including our fault. But He embraces our fault doesn't mean we don't have to show our respect, respect to Him. Doesn't mean we can just be rude to Him. No, love is not rude. We are supposed to give our praise, honor, and highest respect, respect to Him. Today, let us obey and follow God out of the love. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Young Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. We obey and follow God. We obey before His majesty, greatness, and magnificence. We have respect and love toward God. The foundation of our relationship with God should be based on our respect and love to Him, not simply a fear. We follow the commandments of God because we so love Him, not simply because we would like to avoid punishment from Him. Let us remember what God has done for us. God loved us so much. God so loves us even today. God gave us free will and even sent His only Son to save us. We obey God and follow Him because our God is so loving God. He is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There is nothing our God cannot do. Let us love Him. Let us follow Him out of loving hearts toward Him. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Young Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Please remember how big and great your God is. Give Him the highest respect, honor, and praise out of your love as much as your hearts tremble. 
out of your trembling hearts toward God. Let us then be humbled before the people of God as well. Let us treat others as we treat the God of greatness. If we treat others as we treat our Almighty God, that's the way we obey and follow Him. You may remember the song, the children's song at church. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. God uses His mighty power to love us. And He shares His power with us as well. So let us love others like God loves us. Let us obey and follow Him in this way. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. <laughs> 